you ever wondered why people think it's so difficult that uh, to stay healthy by eating healthy is a difficult thing? Have you ever thought of uh, going healthy and then the first thing that comes to your mind is it's too difficult, I cannot do this. It's so expensive that the regular uh, quotes I hear from people most times when you begin to explain to them the benefits of staying healthy by eating healthy meals such as taking more of fruits and veggies in their meals and they go like it is expensive it is time consuming I cannot and I do not have the time or you see one thing is that there is nothing you cannot create time for and there is nothing that is too expensive because there will be always a way out of it. While we were learning nutrition, one of the things we were told to tell our clients is that you eat what you see the most, or you eat what you see. So, the more you place all these processed meals and unhealthy meals before you, you're likely to continue eating those things. But that's not even where we are going to today. We're talking about people saying how it is difficult because it is time consuming and it's expensive. But whatever is healthy, whatever is good for your system, you can always create time for it. So, in this video, we'll be talking about ways you can eat healthy easily without having to spend too much time and having to spend so much money. If you are such a person that have been longing and desiring to eat healthy and yet it's been a difficult task or you don't know how to go about it, well, this video is for you. So, why don't we go into the video now and discuss more on how to stay and eat healthy with less time consumption and less, you know, spending on your pockets. <laughs> Alright, so here we are and uh, the first thing I would like you to know is if you want to stay healthy, if you want to live and eat healthy, the first thing you will do is to what? Disregard processed foods. Yes, processed foods are one of the major things that can make you have, you know, ill health. Okay? So, avoid processed food like french fries, you know, soda and the likes. Make sure that that is not the main thing or the regular meal. You know, why do we do that? People are so busy, they don't have time to settle down to prepare the meals for themselves. So they go out there, that's very, very easy to just buy, grab a bite, and you're on your way. Most of us are on the go. So how do we ensure that we eat healthy even though we are the people on the go? This video is also for you. First and foremost, make sure that you have an idea of what you want to eat. That's the first step. Always know that I know that this junk food is not for me. I know the processed meal is not for me because I want to live healthy and last long and be and, and be mentally alert and be very very productive. So I take my time to determine the kind of meals that I'll be producing both for myself and for my family. Then after creating or having that, those ideas, I write it down and then make my list, my grocery lists. And I go to the store, but that's another thing again. Before you go to the store, make sure you make your list so that you don't go buying things that are not healthy, things that are not wanted. So you buy all those things from the market. When you come back, you create time, meal preparation time. That's another thing most people feel it's so, it's, it's, it's time consuming. Yeah, because when you sit down, you have to dice the carrots, you have to dice the celery, I mean, cut the celery, you have to cut the, the various veggies, you have to peel and cut some of the fruits to make either smoothies or juices or salad. It's so time consuming. So what you, you should do is create a little time, maybe like in the weekends. You know, or you choose a day and say this day it is meal preparation day. So that day you cook your various meals. If you are somebody in Africa, we have various traditional soups that we can take with our swallows. So you make sure you do at least four or five different types of soups, package them, put them in the freezer. That day it is set aside strictly for meal preparation. You also Make your carrots, make your salads in various forms, dice them, various kinds of salads you want to do, roasted chicken, 
grilled, whatever. Just make sure you set up this time and this day I am arranging and preparing meals. So after doing that, you package all of them and put them in the fridge and in the freezer as needs be. Then, when it's time for you to eat, you will notice that you are not starting from the scratch again. All you need to do is just pull out from the freezer and then warm it, microwave it, and you're on the go. In that way, you will notice that you will still have eaten well and at a short time. Then the second thing that is a major challenge for most people is that it is expensive. True it is, but if you buy in bulk, you will find out that it comes a lot easier for you. So when you go and buy, you know, like a small quantity, you rather buy what can carry you for one week and then you come and prepare this menu. I'm thinking about perishables now, like veggies and fruits. Maybe one week and then you prepare your smoothies, you prepare your juices and store them in the freezer. So when you're going out, just take one and you're on the go. When you're serving the meals in your family, I mean with your family, you just share these things and everybody will be happy and stay healthy. You are not just touching it. And also, you are spending less. Okay? Always ensure that you stock your fridge, your freezer, your pantry with healthy food. Healthy food. Because, for example, if you open your freezer and the first thing you see is are those chocolate bars, those wonderful ice cream from outside. Ah, you are very, very sure that you will not be able to stretch forth your hands down behind to go and pull out that natural juice. So what do you do? Get rid of everything junk. Get rid of everything that is not done by you. Every processed food. Don't have them in your house. Make your yogurts by yourself. Make your ice creams by yourself. Make your juices by yourself. Store them. Your salads also. And then so that your dressings, you're the one that dress your salad yourself. You don't have to go and buy those dressings from the store that are loaded with sugar and salt. Make sure you have enough nuts hanging around. Just keep popping it when you need it. Make your cookies for your kids. Make wonderful whole grain cookies that your children will eat, they will love it, and it also be healthy. Even your cakes, everything. You can do it from the comfort of your home. Now, so you prepare your meals ahead of time and then you will notice that uh, you will not have to spend so much time in preparing your, in your eating and then you will not be discouraged and say, I would rather go to a fast food joint to eat food when you have all that at home already. So, those are two things concerning healthy living. And then you can also try to ensure that your food remain fresh. We will discuss next time how to make sure that your food stays fresh even for at least a week. In that way, you will find out that you are eating healthy, fresh meals. If you're liking this video, I would like you to please give it a thumbs up and then subscribe in case if you have not subscribed and share and then leave a comment below.